Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very exciting blindfolded chess game between Wilhelm Steinitz against Sam Berry. So Wilhelm Steinitz was blindfolded and according to the database this was the first blindfolded chess display of Wilhelm Steinitz and in this event as I told you he played against five different gentlemen at the same time and it lasted for about five hours according to the database and Wilhelm Steinitz won four of them and this was pretty impressive of course so let's see what happened this was also a very beautiful chess game so Steinitz who has the white pieces starts the game with e4 e5 f4 and this is the king's gambit bishop to c5 knight to f3 d6 bishop to c4 knight to f6 and then d3 pinning the knight and f takes on e5 very precise move and we have d takes on e5 but this move has a downside even if capturing the knight this is not going to do much for black actually this would be a better uh, try for black then queen takes on f3 d takes on e5 and queen to g3 both targeting on g7 and e5 also white is going to develop the knight place the bishop on g5 if needed and also white has the open f file so this position favors for white white is much better and white has the more active position but in the real chess game we have d takes on e5 but this move has a downside as i mentioned can you see the downside what would you do in this position the move is bishop takes on f7 did you see this move but not capturing the bishop we have king to f8 well if capturing the bishop if king takes on f7 then knight takes on e5 check forking the king and the bishop and after capturing the bishop as you can see white is much much better and white is two pawns up and this is almost resignable for black so even though when Wilhelm Steinitz was blindfolded he didn't miss anything bishop takes on f7 king over and bishop goes back developing the knight c3 not allowing knight to d4 queen to d6 queen to e2 rook over defending the d-pawn capturing the knight capturing back and king goes down bishop to g5 so as you can see the knight is pinned we rook over knight up b5 and also finally Wilhelm Steinitz castled king to g8 we see opposite side castling and black is castling manually knight to b3 defending the dark square bishop queen to h3 by Wilhelm Steinitz knight to e7 and d4 a very good move he basically wants to open the game so knight to g6 rook over and then c6 rook to f5 so we see a very big threat capturing the pawn is a big threat so if capturing forking queen forking queen and the knight and also discover attacking to the queen so there is no time a black is going to lose a piece so queen to e7 moving back and rook from d to f1 creating a battery on the f file bishop to c7 knight to c5 rook down and knight to d3 again Capturing the pawn is a threat, so that's basically losing a piece. And in this position, if black captures the d pawn, then white can push the pawn, forking the rook and the knight. So rook goes back for the defense, but white has a very strong move in this position. Can you see a very strong move? What would you do? It's a very simple move. That is, d takes on e5. This is the move and black has to take this is forced knight takes simplifying the game what else and now white has a very strong move this was the idea did you see queen to g3 and there is double threat threatening to take the knight and at the same time threatening to take the knight for example with the bishop and the g-pawn is going to be pinned so what else but to defend knight goes back and black is defending uh, blocking the queen so if capturing the knight uh, blocking the queen so black can take but again uh, 
Black can take with the pawn, but actually in this position, white has a very strong move as well. Uh, even in this position, did you see the move? It is very simple, of course. The move is e5, of course. So these are all forced. Black can, black can. Uh, there is no defense for black. Black can do nothing about it. So knight takes on e5, but then this is losing a piece. Queen to d6, attacking the queen, but the queen is at the same diagonal with the white queen. So Wilhelm Steinitz simply captured the knight, the strongest move, who rook takes on f6, what else, the only move for not losing a piece, but white has a winning move, and that is rook to e8, check. And after this move, Sam Berry, the brother of George Berry, resigned, because this is basically losing the queen. And there is nothing black can do about it. So, okay, we also see the beautiful chess game of Wilhelm Steinitz against George Berry, the brother of Sam Berry. And who was George Berry? No one knows. <laughs> but we know that they were brothers and they were in the same blindfolded chess display of Wilhelm Steinitz. And they, they both lost to Steinitz in a brutal way. It was a brilliant, a beautiful chess game, a pretty accurate chess game by Steinitz. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.